Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Santa Monica, California, USA, Dynamite. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. The Apex! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, about your cars, perfect. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, Chief? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Big powerful punch land. Now let's get back to range. And they separate. Over and over, he's landed the big body kick. These guys throwing early. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Single collar tie there. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Real nice body kick lands. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Nice punch land over the top. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Right punches there. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. After find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, collar tie. Massive knee to the body land. Oh, and he gets the takedown there. Too easy, Chief. Too easy. He has impeccable timing on these takedown attempts. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Oh, 
Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Now he's got the Muay Thai plot. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh! There, great job using his length in that situation. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He blocks the shot. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Real sneaky body kick. Tags him with the overhand. Single collar tie now. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Big leg kick land. Oh, goes to the roundhouse kick now and lands. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What a devastating technique the roundhouse kick is. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself out. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Big punch lands through the middle. And he continues to work the body here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head. He's hurt, he's hurt. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact Right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Good one. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make them pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Slips. Beautiful body kick. Oh, eats a knee. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. 
And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can get off the strikes. And flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50, because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Just unable to quite find that range. That one appeared to stun him. Didn't like that left hand. Nice strike. Oh, big head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters... Whoa! Oh, he's so bad. He's got to press it. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh! Stuff the takedown, no problem. Ooh! And now he's got that tight finish. Nice stupid punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Beautiful body kick. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Nice kick. 10 seconds to go. Big head kick land. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. All right, single collar tie now. And now he's got the tie clinch. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. What a punch. Oh! Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one.
Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the feet. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Three minutes to go in round three. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he's landed a high... Oh! I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, here one more time. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at two minutes, nine seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by no Shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.